friends i am not making this video for the sake of making a video few days back we have discussed about the possible yield curve inversion and which may give a signal and warning for forthcoming recession so friends ultimately yield curve has inverted so when a longer term treasury bond yields becomes last time when we made the video it was flattening still it was not inverted but this time i am making a video when when yield curve has been inverted last time your channel has made a video in the month of august 2019 when we witnessed the yield curve inversion and there the possible signal was that bear market may follow and then recession may follow and that exactly happened at that point of time we never had a single case of covid in any parts of the world so friends yield curve inversion is a leading indicator very rarely in past 70 80 years it has happened that the yield curve has inverted and recession has not followed so let us discuss and go to the pictorial diagram as to how yield curve is looking today those who are beginners in financial market let me tell you first what is an yield curve so that you have a better understanding what i want to communicate with our viewers to take precaution in these times when such event has taken place in finance the yield curve is a graph which depicts how the yields on debt instruments like a treasury bonds vary as a function of their years remaining towards maturity so if you plot a yield curve uh, typically the graph on horizontal line that is on horizontal line it shows the maturity that is a period remaining towards the maturity and on a vertical axis it is an yield that is a return that you get a interest you get out of the yield yield is nothing but the interest you get so longer the duration of the bond is the larger the yield the normal curve is like this which is shown on your screen but if this graph starts turning down what does it happen it matches lower time period for example here it is a yield of 2 year uh, bond yield or a, or a treasury bond yield and this starts turning from 10 year to 2 year time which means the yield of the short term bond and the yield of the long term bond the gap is narrowing down and finally at a stage comes when longer duration uh, bond yields lesser yield than that of a, a short term bond so that is called 10 year to year uh, constant maturity bond uh, yield spread if this yield spread becomes a negative that is the leading indicator signaling that possible bear market may come followed by possible recession on your channel we have made a video to caution our subscribers viewers to take extra precaution yield curve has inverted on 1st of april that does not mean friends that the bear market will start right tomorrow it normally takes 6 months to 12 months time for bear market to arrive and then after a bear market recession follows which means yield curve inversion is a leading indicator to indicate the bear market and bear market itself is a leading indicator to indicate the possible recession forthcoming so let us uh, go and see the yield curve what it looks today and how we... now let us have a look to the uh, yield curve presently well friends we all know that uh, fed rate uh, hiking cycle because they raise the interest rate to control and contain the inflation so yield curve inversion this time in 2022 marks a historical move simply because it is an upside down i am sourcing this data from bloomberg so days it has taken a uh, first fed fed rate hike in two year 10 year uh, curve inversion that is in 1998 it has taken 
1572 days after the first rate hike by fed and in 2000 it has taken 217 days while in 2005 it has taken 540 days 45 days for yield curve to invert while in 2019 august it has taken 1349 days for yield curve to invert this time it has taken in 2022 only 16 days for yield curve inversion so it's a historical probably the 2022 marks the quickest yield curve inversion since fed hiking uh, cycle starts which has started very recently and many further rate hike will come that gives me the worry that whether uh, only 25 basis point rate hike would be there or fed may enhance to quicken the uh, containing the inflation by raising maybe say 50 basis point or something so the time will only tell but this is a alarming situation in the sense and that is why we have been telling all of our viewers to take a precaution only to select a stock of a fundamental sound business uh, before you initiate any kind of investing so hybrid analysis approach of fundamental analysis and technical analysis will only uh, yield result because any fundamentally sound business stocks may fall but eventually they they are just like bouncing balls they will bounce back because ultimately the business fundamentals are very strong but if the company is weak or fundamentals are weak then probably we may not get back our price at which we have invested so take a precaution it is better sometimes to watch the market rather than to be very aggressive in the market for investing for trading of course we can trade always on both sides long trade short trade depending upon the market conditions as of now there is no sign of uh, any weakness in nifty 50 or s&p 500 but as we all know that bear market normally takes 6 to 1 year 6 months to 1 year time for really to emerge and then recession follows so let us take precaution let's straight away go to the uh, yield curve inversion to understand what has happened this time so now friends the bond yield 10 year versus 2 year maturity constant maturity bond yield spread is in negative negative by 0.07 it marks the day when the yield curve has inverted now what has happened in past when it inverted here uh, uh, way back in 1990 so we had seen a massive bear market of 1990 and yield curve inversion marked the recession also then next we had seen in the year 2007 we had seen the bear market of 2008 and followed by massive recession and in 2019 when we had made a video on your channel yes of course in hindi channel because english channel never existed at that point of time so at on to be very precise on 15th of august we made a video uh, cautioning our viewers and uh, subscribers of the channel that take uh, ultimate precaution because bear market may come in next 6 to 9 months or 12 months time and what exactly happened at that particular time if you recall there was not a single case of covid in any parts of the world and hence yield curve inversion is a very very good leading indicator maybe it's good news if it does doesn't the bear market doesn't come but historically if you see in past 80 70 80 years it has only happened once that the yield curve has inverted bear market did not come although there was a very massive correction in the stock market and recession did not come but economy suddenly slowed down so here we can see the yield curve inversion has already taken place and that is where it warrants for all of us to take ultimate precaution towards our stock portfolio tightening the risk management and every aspect whatever best we can do friends i hope this video might have given a value addition uh, to our viewers if you have liked this video give a lot of thumbs up to this video i'll be waiting for your comments in the comment section subscribe the channel enable the notification bell so that you remain updated all the time thank you very much for watching looking forward to meet you very very soon